Anyone who has a Facebook and goes to Fountain Valley High School has most likely heard of the FVHS pages. While some pages like FVHS compliments allow students to anonymously send in adorations for each other, other pages like FVHS insults and FVHS confessions may lead to some conflicting feelings. So these questions remain. Is this a form of cyberbullying and can students get in trouble for it? So basically how it works is you have freedom of speech, but if you say something that could be considered um, harassment or intimidation or threats, um, and it gets carried onto the school campus, so it's a, against a, another student or a staff member, then you can get in trouble for that. So for instance, a lot of the posts on FVH confessions have nothing to do with um, an act on school campus. and. So it really has no place on, in school. Just because it has the name FVHS doesn't make it a school issue. So what we would have to do basically is show that it impacts the school day or it's getting in the way of someone feeling comfortable at school or someone being able to do their job as a student or a staff member on the school campus. If it's something that, like I said, is considered harassment, bullying, intimidation, sexual harassment, it can be suspendable under Ed Code. Some students have been asked by the supervision office to take down their posts because it was deemed inappropriate or hurtful to others. There have even been some talks about the school trying to shut the page down. But does the school have this kind of jurisdiction? The school doesn't have any control over Facebook. Um, we don't shut down pages or not shut down pages. We can follow the process of reporting a Facebook page like any other person who gets on Facebook. It is anonymous, so there's going to be uh, an inappropriate thing said. I mean, it is inevitable. Kind of stupid uh, how people would like use the anonymous uh, site to say mean things to people. At the end of the day, it's up to the students to keep the post on these pages from affecting students and faculty members from their daily school lives. But for now, it seems like the FVHS pages are here to stay.